What are we gonna call this video? Um, bracket fights, episode one. 2010's biggest artist bracket. We're gonna do a little tournament. Oh, this is recording right now. Oh yeah, we we've been recording. Oh shit. This was our prime childhood music <laughs> listening yeah. time. Yeah. I will preface. This is obviously our opinion. Yeah, unless we have a tiebreaker, and then we'll consult Wild Waller, William. We didn't choose these. Um, these this is a website. All right, let's, let's get into it. it. Number one. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we get <laughs> versus Nicki Minaj. It has to be Nicki Minaj. It doesn't really... That is Nicki Minaj, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it has to be Nicki Minaj. Yeah, he he's got some yeah. he's got some bangers. Mr. Worldwide, you know? <laughs> Nicki is definitely a, a, a better artist. Yeah, though. she's like, let's go Nicki here. No need for consultation. Pink and oh, Kush. Shit. <laughs> Our Patreon is full of exclusive content, and it's the best way to get in touch with us. We respond to every message we get. Not only that, you can see all our YouTube videos a week early, ad free, plus an exclusive Patreon podcast once a week. Get early updates on all things merch, shows, new music, and all of this for only five bucks a month. Your support means so much to us, and it helps us keep things going. Sign up at patreon.com slash Tallulah. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I know what my answer is straight away. <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know. No, I, I definitely choose Kanye. You what? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's Come do on. it. And a lot of people like this pink. Is, it's 2010's Kanye. I like pink. It's 2010's Kanye. Okay. Yeah. You can't stop 2010's Kanye. We should do the uh, the top two, I think. It's probably going to skip over them. Next. All right. Kanye moves on. Yay. Okay. Juice World. It's Juice World and... And I don't know who that is. Yo, Will, do you know? He has a Jimi Hendrix tattoo. You wearing your Tulula hat? Yo, get your Tulula hat at TululaMusic.com. Anyway, who is this? I have no idea. It's the wrong URL, actually. Just go to the description for the hats. <laughs> you can still get there from TululaMusic.com. Yeah, it's just a little more... A little more clicks. Image search this. He looks like... Is this Flo Rida? Oh. This might be Flo Rida. Yeah, it is. It is okay. Flo Rida. Okay. I, I just... Some some click. I was like, oh, oh shit. So that baby, is Flo, Flo so Rida. Do you like Juice uh, World? Uh, yeah. He doesn't do anything <sighs> crazy I mean, for me. Me neither, to be honest. I know a lot of people love Juice I know he's super Juice popular, World. yeah. I feel like for the, for the people, we should choose Juice World, even though... I mean, I don't love Flo Rida. Some of his songs really Yeah, hit. he's kind of a legendary 2010s artist. So is Juice World. Welcome to my <laughs> Just pick Juice World. Okay, then. I will go Juice World. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kendrick and Lady Gaga. <laughs> this is and tough, Gaga. actually. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This is like a finals matchup. Holy shit. Bro, what? It's what happens. Sometimes the sometimes the seating is like that. Was Bad Romance and shit? Was that 2010? Yes. It was, I think it was early 2010s. Fame Monster album. That album is so good. It's really, That whole really album good. is so good. And then, but Kendrick has like multiple yeah, that, enormous. That's kind of where my head is at, is like that Gaga album is spectacular. But then Kendrick has also put out like three spectacular True. albums okay. in the twenty tens. You know what? Because because he's got these are, these are like all time greats. Yeah. If she had, but if if her other albums were just hit as, as good as as Fame Monster, then we'd be fucked. I think there's other people on here that were more influential, possibly in the pop zone. I'm just looking. Over I don't at, know. Looking over at Ed down there. So, so just, I, I guess, I guess Kendrick, sorry, sorry, Gaga. Yeah, that's tragic. That is tragic that to be out in the first round as, as Lady Gaga. But damn, we got to go with Kendrick. Oh, is that Maroon? F no, that's Maroon Five and One Direction. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is what that is. Oh, this is easy as fuck. Is it? Yeah. What's yes. What's your choice? Maroon Five. Okay, okay. For yeah, I would definitely say that for personal preference. Look at PJ Morton just <laughs> in the corner <laughs> over there. <laughs> Maroon Five, come on, moving on. Twenty ten is Maroon Five. I mean, what twenty ten is One Direction was. Ridiculous. True. Uh, so Selena Gomez and and I think that's Coldplay. I would probably go yeah. Coldplay yeah. just on personal preference. Uh, but I would go Coldplay just yeah. Overall, I think that one's pretty. They're probably bigger. Selena honestly, Selena is an actor. Not that her music like she had some bangers too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, well, I'm gonna go Coldplay. Sure. Okay. Oh, it's just not working right, is it? Totally fucked. Let's just do the top two matchups and then do matchup mode again. So this is Flo Rida versus no. Or, uh, no, yeah, Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> yeah, versus Jason Derulo. <laughs> Fuck. I don't really like either of these artists. Me neither. I'd probably go Jason yeah, Derulo. I'm gonna go Jason here. And then... Next is... Yeezy Baby and Jay-Z. We're talking 2010s. I'm gonna go Yeezy Baby. Yeah. Wheezy Baby. Um, oh, I said Yeezy. Yeah, that's, Wheezy. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. That was so loud. What Roll up, Wayne? What up, Wayne? Oh, okay, it's fixed. I think we're okay, good. Okay, so we're gonna do the whole left side first? Yeah, probably. Okay, that's fine. So, Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah, what the Come fuck? On. Okay, yeah. this one's easy for me as well? Yeah, yeah. I mean, 2010's Kanye is 2010's Kanye. You can't really... Yeah. As as Nikki was legendary phenomenal. as Licky, Nikki is... <laughs> Licky. <laughs> it has to be Kanye. Okay. Don't even talk okay, about yeah, it. Okay, yeah, this is all of a sudden <laughs> extremely fast here. Uh... Ooh, Battle of the White Boys and PJ. <laughs> yeah, and PJ Martin. <laughs> How did he get in Maroon 5? I don't know. Like, Has he always been in Maroon 5? Yeah. I'd say based on the 2010s, I'd probably go Maroon 5. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, 2002. Okay. Viva La Vida was before 2010. Oh, shit. Okay, so... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I, 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 yeah, I think we have to go Maroon 5 on principle. Okay. Because it's the 2010s. <laughs> on principle. Eh... Uh, if it was 2000s... It's the, like, 2000, 2010, it would probably be Wayne. But it isn't. So it's... Kanye once again. <laughs> Hi, Adam. <laughs> That's a nice blue-ass bricks he's got there. Yeah. In that photo, but I'm... Them I'm bricks now. is blue as fuck. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh this is fucked. Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, let's Tempem bring up the Butterfly. Yeah. My Beautiful Dark Tw Twisted Fantasy, Yeezus, Kid See Ghost... Life of Pablo. That's like all his, my my favorite albums of his. And then, then Kendrick, we have Damn and Good Kid, Mad City and To Pimp a Butterfly. It's all of his and work Black except Panther Mr. Album. Morale, pretty much. Holy fuck. Shit. The, the kind of revolutionary stuff, honestly. I mean, all of it. Graduation, that's in the 2000s. All its dropout yeah. and graduation yeah. are humongous. And 808s and, and Heartbreak. Yeah. Like, these are ginormous. Kendrick Lamar dropped, like three of the best rap albums ever in the 2010s. So I, I think I would probably go Kendrick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to agree. Kendrick Lamar moves on. X the other and side. who was that? That is... Jason Aldean or something? Yeah, probably. I, I do like Jason Country. It is how did Jason you know Aldean. that was Jason I don't, Aldean? I don't know. How I I, I, mine is Easy X here. Uh, yeah, I'll do that as well. I would listen to those like one minute songs over and over and I, over I used again. to listen to them a lot. Very Cutting unique sounding edge. music. Yeah. Rest in peace. You're moving forward. Um, Blake <laughs> oh, Shelton and Adele. Yeah, <laughs> fuck out of here, Blake. I don't, I don't know who that is. That's definitely some more country. That's yeah. like, and then is that Imagine Dragons? It's probably Imagine Dragons, yeah. Eric Church. Eric Church. Do you know who that is? Um, yeah. All right, let's pull up some Eric Church because we are... <sighs> Will, do you know Eric Church? No. Okay. You've heard of him though, right? No. You've never heard this song? No. I love this song. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you do you like Imagine Dragons? Because I like their one song, and that's it. Because all the songs sound the same. I don't like Imagine Dragons, but they like made a formula that worked so well for the 2010s, <laughs> just because of like how absolutely massive and dominant they were. I think I think it's time for our first tiebreaker. Then come on over here, Wild William. If you don't know Wild William, he's a man behind the lens today. He's the man in front of the lens. This is Eric Church versus Imagine Dragons. Well, I mean, I just, I know Imagine Dragons far more. I mean, they're super influential. Definitely. They like. I, they like created a sound in the 2010s yeah. that just worked. Sound that goes like this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah. Radio Eric! Yeah. them in the studio. <laughs> it just sounds like that. It's them. Magic so, dragons. Magic okay. dragons, wild will. So. Yeah. It says it. Sorry, Eric. Um, Get you and your banger. jean hat out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dergens. Oh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Riri versus Riri. Respect to to Ariana Grande. Ariana. Uh, but yeah, it's fucking Rihanna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Riri number one is moving forward. Khaled and, <laughs> and who is that? One, one Republic. Republic. Oh, yeah. One Republic all day. I think One Republic definitely has a more earned spot on this list. Like, they they were absolutely massive. Okay, One Republic. Sure. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I feel like Justin Bieber has had, like, a number one song, like, every two or three years. Well, he's definitely not losing to whoever the fuck this is. Kelly Clarkson? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely choose Justin Bieber. Yeah, let's um, go. Sorry, Kel. Yeah. JB. Um, Migos. Rest in peace, take off. So Wait, who is on the left though? Guys? Mumford and Sons. Fuck no. Migos all the way. <laughs> drum beat. <laughs> Pick a new drum beat. Who Ed Sheeran versus 
Three. Lady Antebellum. Uh. Do you know Lady Antebellum? Oh, yeah. He's I 100% vote for Ed Sheeran. Yeah, he's gotta win. Only just recently got dethroned from the most yeah. played song on Spotify. Yeah, we can And it was there for a long time. Yeah, we can move right along. Adele. Okay, that was fast. Rihanna. Yeah, I, I'd like Rihanna a lot more. Definitely. Probably JB still. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I would choose Justin. Ed Sheeran. Ed for Sheeran. Sure. Sorry, amigos. <laughs> Adios. We're blasting through these. This yeah, is holy tougher. shit. When was Rolling in the Deep released? Rolling in the Deep was 2011. When was fucking Umbrella? When was that? Ooh. 2007. Ooh. I, I, think that's, I think that's what makes it here. Riri in the same boat as Kanye. Yeah. Getting out because the peak was too early. Yeah. Ariana Grande maybe got stiffed. White Pop Man, early 2010s is JB and White Pop yeah, Man, late 2010s. Let's look at the Ed discography Sheeran. a little bit here. Where the fuck is Bruno Mars on this? That's that's a good question. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't fuck? we didn't make this list. Oh my god. Sorry, JB. Uh shit. <laughs> so you think Ed's... these guys got a Super Bowl? They play a Super Bowl? No, just Rihanna. Yeah, I mean they both they're both really good writers, really good performers, great vocalists in their own ways. Yep. I think for Ed's goofy ass tattoos, Adele should move on. <laughs> Let's Wait, pull who these has up. who has more Grammys? Sixteen. Okay. I bet it's more. Four! <laughs> Look, Look at him. <laughs> Look at that man. Yeah. We could have Will decide. Just put it on him. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that. All you, right, have any, you have any thoughts, Will? <laughs> Come on over. We can't decide. This is the semifinals. I'm just trying to think of who. Uh, they're just so predominant. I'm in love with the shape of you. Push and pull like a I magnet from do. the outside. I, I, it could be either of them, so I'm good with whatever. I'm, I'm leaning back towards Ed Sheeran because he just has way more. I think Ed just kind of scares me. <laughs> <laughs> if you told me that was a prisoner, I'd believe you. <laughs> I, I don't know if we're taking... <laughs> appearance into this, but... <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd choose Bruno Mars. Yeah, I think the yeah. answer, the correct answer here is Bruno Mars. <laughs> should we, should we just Put say Bruno? Bruno Mars instead of both of these two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So, pretend Ed Sheeran is Bruno yeah, Mars. Yeah, yeah, you guys... At summer he's camp, he's also Radio everyone Man. Everyone was like, Bruno Mars all the way. <laughs> fucking middle school summer camp. Everyone was like, hey man, <laughs> what's up, welcome to summer camp. Bruno Mars all the way. Oh yeah, his yeah. shit is all too yeah, it's, it's over. It's, it's over. over. Like you, you get his his early stuff, the the singer songwritery guitar swooning into the funky. <laughs> into the funky. Yeah. Yeah, but twenty four karat magic. And we're talking about Kendrick Lamar Bangs. though. I know, but like three, those three uh, albums are the greatest. Like, are his are these albums the greatest pop albums of the twenty tenth? Because. Kendrick debatably has the top three greatest hip hop albums. He crushed the whole genre, and it, and it was the biggest genre at the beginning of the 2010s. It was pop. It was pop. Yeah. And then probably like halfway through, it started transitioning to hip hop. Yeah. Bruno Mars has a good argument for being like the biggest pop star of the early 2010s. No. Definitely. Fuck. Fuck. I don't know what to do again. Yeah, this is like my favorite pop artist versus my favorite rapper of the, yeah, of the decade. I mean, that's good. That means, that means we did a good job. Yeah. Bruno sounded completely different from what he sounded like by the end of the decade. That's true. Through the whole time period, it was all great. I agree. Kendrick Obviously, Kendrick has still, developed a lot. Yeah. But it's still the same vibe. He though. hasn't changed genres. I, I think I, I think I have to go Bruno Mars. If you feel that way about it, I I'm having a lot of trouble, so I guess we'll just we'll just go with that. Okay. Ed Sheeran, Bruno. Bruno, Mars. <laughs> Bruno, Bruno Mars, Bruno Mars is the winner. Ed Sheeran got literally disqualified for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> he had a fourth round buy. <laughs> I was gonna choose Bruno anyways. You were okay. Okay, Will so was I'm the only one Bruno. on the Kendrick side, so it's Bruno. It's Bruno all um, the way. Thanks well, for watching, guys. Yeah, that he was... wasn't even on the list. But but he succeeded. I'm, I'm glad he made it there. Thanks yeah. for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more brackets. There was Let the bracket. me know. Like, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> are definitely down to do some more in the future. So if you want to hear about our irrelevant opinions on albums, songs, artists, let yeah. us know in the comments. Yep. Stream our, our song, Never Enough. Um, it's better than Bruno Mars. Uh, <laughs> buy our hats. Yeah. The Never Enough would actually win this bracket yeah. for best artist of the 2010s. <laughs> yep. Oh, we have a show in Brooklyn on July 20th. Yeah, pull out. It's going to be dope. It's going to be freaking fire. With that. Yay, Ed Sheeran. 24 karat magic. Ed Sheeran. Hey.